Now students, last class we have seen about sodium channel. So in now we are going to see the mechanism of action of local anesthetics. That is how these local anesthetics are going to bind with the sodium channel and producing local anesthesia. So this was the structure of a sodium channel. Uh, this was the lipid bilayer. This would be the extracellular region and this would be the intracellular region. The pH of extracellular region is 7.4 whereas the pH of intracellular region is 7.2. While comparing with the extracellular region, uh, the intracellular pH is 7.2 no, so, uh, no, so that is it is slightly more acidic than this one. Here in uh, sodium channel we have two subunits already we have seen that one is an alpha subunit another one is a beta subunit alpha subunit is having six segments so in that i mean it is having four domains that four domains each of the four domains are having six segments in that one segment is a voltage sensor that is the s4 segment so this would be the s4 segment these two are the S4 segments of the sodium channel and this would be the local anesthetic binding site and here we have a selectivity filter already we have seen no selectivity filter. So where the local anesthetic binding site is that is beyond the selectivity filter. Now here we have uh, that local anesthetic that may be an amide local anesthetic or ester local anesthetic whatever it may be that local anesthetic no these are weak bases only the unionized form of the local anesthetic can enter the lipid bilayer. So upon entering it is uh, going into the intracellular region no so the pH is slightly more acidic than the extracellular region so now uh, so it has to be protonated that's why this unionized form here we have no so that would be converted to ionized form so this ionized form of local anesthetic is going to bind with the local anesthetic binding site and it producing local anesthesia so already we have seen local anesthetics are weak bases generally if a drug is in ionized form it is able to penetrate the tissues but if it is in ionized form it is not able to penetrate the tissues what is the main action of a local anesthetics? They are used to numb a particular region of the body. That is, they are mainly affecting the afferent neuron, which are going to pass the pain sensation from the receptor to the CNS. That is, they prevent the generation of nerve impulse and also the conduction of nerve impulse. So, the unionized form of the drug will pass through the lipid bilayer. Already we have seen no unionized form of the local anesthetic will pass through the lipid bilayer. Already we have seen in the extracellular region the pH is 7.4 whereas in intracellular region the pH is 7.2 that is slightly more acidic. So it needs some protonation to form ionized form of local anesthetic. So this ionized form of local anesthetic that is going and binding with the sodium channel. So that is present in the cell membrane of the lipid bilayer. The important one is only the ionized form of local anesthetic will inactivate this channel. So what is the main action? This local anesthetics will bind to voltage gated sodium channel that is in the area just beyond the selectivity filter. Already we have seen. So because of the binding they block the sodium channel because of blocking the entry of sodium ions into the channel would be blocked that leads to no depolarization if there is no depolarization what happens the formation and propagation of action potential would be blocked that leads to the blockade of transmittance of message of pain or even touch from getting into the brain and that is producing local anesthesia. So that's all about the mechanism of action of local anesthetics.